What's up everyone? My name is Cody Engel and in this video we are going to talk about the flatten operator and kind of when you would use it. So this is a good segue from the map operator because you can use these kind of in conjunction with each other. With that we will uh, go ahead and get started. So we will create a new Kotlin file. We will call this one flatten. And close out of map. Zoom in on this. Create our new main function. And when you use the flatten operator, you would use it when you want to take a list which could contain other lists of items and you want it to just be a single list. What do I mean by that? So if we create a authors variable and we get that by doing library books dot map it dot authors we can do or use the also scope function to then say it for each print line it. And the ID is going to yell at you saying that uh, this implicit it of enclosing lambda is shadowed. Don't worry about that. It just makes life a little bit easier for this tutorial. If you were writing this and you were going to have users use your app, then pay attention to the warning. But for this, we're just going to go ahead and run this function real quick just to show you what we're dealing with, what we're going to be working with. And so for that, we have a list of lists. So each item in the list, some of them only have a single author, some of them have multiple authors. And what we want to do is we want this to just be a list of authors, not a list of a list of authors. And so we can actually, just to spell this out more, this is what we have right now. And what we want is we want, I don't know, simple authors. Uh, let's give this one a better name. Uh, list of a list of authors. There we go. Very verbose. We will be doing a lot of copy pasting of that name. Uh, but so we'll just create a new value of authors. And if we want it to just be the list of author, you'll see right now it won't compile because it required a list of authors. It found a list of a list of author. And so the flatten function will do that for us. And that's, that is, uh, that's really it. I'm going to go ahead and copy this also function just because it makes my life easier just to show you what we're now looking at. And you will see in this case, now we just have the list of author, not a list of a list of authors. So that's useful in the case where, you know, you are showing all of the authors that exist in your library. You're not showing the grouping that some of these authors are on the same book. You just care about what authors are included. So we have that, but what happens, you know, is there, what happens if you want to do something else, if you want to do something extra? Well, the flatten operator is good when you just want to do something simple, like you have a list of a list and you need to turn that into just a list. But if you want to do some extra operations, we can say val flat mapped authors equals, and this one, we'll just say it'll be a list of strings just for the example of this. For that, we can take our list of a list of authors and then we're going to use a flat map operator 
And I'll put this on a new line just to make it a little bit easier to read. And for this, it's going to be our author list. So for each author, or each book, it has the list of authors. And we will then do our val flattened author name, names, I'll make it plural, and this will be a mutable list of strings. And then for the flat map, the last expression it sees is going to be the return type. So we'll just do flattened author names here as well, just so it will return those. And then the next thing that we want to do is we will take our author list and we'll do dot for each and we'll just name it author. For each one we will take our flattened author names and then we'll do an add operation on our mutable list and it'll be an author dot name. Alright, so we have that and then from here once we have our flattened authors we'll do our for each again we'll run the the app and then you'll see now it's going to print out each one but just their name instead of with the author to string value now you might be looking at this and you know the for each function is great but we could simplify this a little bit more and so we will uh, we will go ahead and do that so we'll comment out this value right now you can ignore that everything is broken that's that's expected right now because we're not actually providing uh, the list of strings we're providing a uh, list of authors essentially so we'll do our author list dot map so we'll do a map within the flat map is perfectly legal because the map is going to return a list of those transformations if you remember and so for that we can just do it.name and then if we run the code again you'll see the exact same output so just to summarize kind of what we went over in this video the flat map is used when you have a collection of collections a list of lists and you use that to flatten it into just a single list where the items within the list of a list are um, are within the list so it's when you have this your list of a list of author for example and you want to transform it into just a list of author and if it's simple enough you can just use that flatten operator but if you ever need to do anything a little bit more advanced you want to flatten it and map it at the same time you can use this flat map operator and it'll do the same thing so with that that's all i have for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that as well. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.